Welcome to Learning Lua. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at using closures inside the Lua scripting language. A closure is an anonymous function that is within another function. Generally, closures are used within these situations to pass information where it would be otherwise difficult or a function might not operate correctly without a closure. And I've got an example of that, so you're going to love it. So here we have an iteration function. It's going to keep track of what the current count is, and all that it's doing is returning a second or function or closure that is adding 1 to i and returning that value of i. And so below you can see the returns. Here's our print the first time it's called, print the second time it's called, and we get the values of 1 and 2. Of course, any additional prints that we add just simply add to that count. That's a very simplified version of a closure. Let's look at something that would actually be useful to you in creating a program or a game. So I was working on a tower defense style game in Corona and I needed something that could launch the new waves that were going to be attacking the towers. So I created this function, uh, my start wave function, and I ran into a problem when I was first using this the timer perform with delay. If you're not familiar with the Corona SDK, timer perform with delay calls a secondary function that with a delay in so many milliseconds. However, I was needing to pass additional information to that function. With any function, if you're trying to pass information within information, it immediately executes that function instead of the necessary delay that was needed for this particular application. So in this particular case, I needed to add a runner every so many milliseconds based upon what the former, the last timer delay was. I added an additional half a second and then another random number between zero and half a second. Corona uses milliseconds for the counter, so this worked very well. By utilizing the closure inside this function, I was able to use timer perform with delay without any problems and it worked perfectly. Closures are extremely valuable tools. They are a little bit more advanced than what you're generally going to run into, but they do fit the bill perfectly. It really is one of the things that adds a tremendous amount of power to the Lua scripting language. We have a lot more tutorials and lessons forthcoming. If you'd like to follow what's happening, you can follow us on Twitter at Dr. Brian Burton or Facebook at Burton's Media Group or follow us on our website, burtonsmediagroup.com. If you'd like notification through YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button. 